Long Way Home was uh, inspired by a conversation I overheard in a rather lovely country pub where you wouldn't expect gang masters to drink, but they do, apparently. And there were two gentlemen in there discussing the business practices of a gang master that they worked for and the level of brutality that's directed towards their workers just infuriated me. I was shocked by what they consider normal business practices, beatings and ripping people off as a matter of course, sending people home at the end of the day with absolutely no wages. Um, I just couldn't forget it. I went home and I wrote a short story about it, but it just didn't feel like enough. And I thought I have to look into this world. I have to, I have to know what these poor guys are putting up with. And it, and it, it eventually grew into the book Long Way Home. Uh, the main character is uh, the audition Zhigic, who is a third generation Serb living in Peterborough, who. I think he has a chip on his shoulder slightly about his nationality because they're not the most popular people in Europe. But the good thing that he comes from an immigrant background, he empathises with what the people he is dealing with and the hate crimes units are going through. So he's a he's a family man, he's not a maverick, you know, he doesn't go out drinking and whoring. He's just a a very solid, decent man. But the counterpoint to him is uh, Sergeant Mel Ferreira, who is Portuguese. She came over to the country at 11 when her family migrated for financial purposes. And she's a little bit more of a hothead. She's somebody who works off instinct, who has a way of seeing things that people don't want her to see. And I think she may actually be the heart of the book, where Zhigish is actually the head, definitely. Long Way Home is set in Peterborough, which is a small city on the Lincolnshire Fens. It has a very large migrant population, which has increased over perhaps the last 10 years as people from Eastern Europe, predominantly Poland, um, have entered the workforce there. I mean, these are people who are economic migrants. They are working hard, but it isn't always particularly popular with the locals. But the areas they're in are vibrant. There are a lot of new businesses there. And um, of course, when you get new business, you get crime attracted to it. And it's quite an underbelly.